Hey viewers, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Maddie. And, and we're, we're the Energy, Energy Crew. Crew. Electricity, a huge part of our modern day lives. From smoke detectors to watching this video, we kind of have a need for this stuff. But we can't have it without a little bit of physics and a little bit of energy. But wait! Aren't energy and electricity the same thing? Or is there a difference? There is a difference! Energy can do work and make things move or react, while electricity powers things that produce movement or emit energy, whether it be a light bulb or a cell phone. What? In layman's terms, please. Alright, energy is used to make things happen, while electricity is a form of energy that is used in technology. Oh, now that makes more sense. But one thing at a time. First, what is electricity? Electricity is stored energy in the form of charged particles. These particles are called electrons and are negatively charged, kind of like a magnet. Right! Electricity is then stored in batteries, and these batteries have a positive and a negative end. They use the negative end to push the electrons through the wire and the positive end to pull them the rest of the way. This causes a flowing action, and that's how the electricity is distributed through the circuits and wires. That is also why iron is used to make magnets. Its chemical structure has negative particles at one end and positive particles at the other. That's very interesting, but how do you create electricity? We create electricity in a bunch of different ways. Some popular methods include coal, wind, solar, natural gas, hydroelectric, and nuclear. Very diverse ways of producing it, but all of these things have one massive thing in common. They all create electricity. Yeah, but they all use water. How water? Here's how. All of these examples involve heating up water into steam, sending it through a pipe, and spinning a turbine. The turbine works like a motor, only in the opposite way, creating electricity instead of using it. Oh, that's really cool. The energy in the form of running water or steam is transferred into electrical energy or electricity, but where does it go after that? Well, it goes through miles of wire and other components, eventually getting to your house, your outlet, your toaster, your lights, and so on. That is where the electrical energy is transformed back into physical energy. Quite the process, huh? But this energy that is used to create electricity, what happens with that? I know this theory that says energy isn't created or destroyed. How is that possible because we create electricity? That theory just so happens to be the most accepted theory in all of science. You may know it as E equals mc squared. And yes, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It is conserved. Though it seems like it is lost, it is actually transformed into multiple things, and into other energies, like heat or electricity. So as you can see, the energy usually comes from fast-flowing water, and made into electrical energy, then sent to your homes. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. But can you tell me more about power plants, and about the creation of electricity? Are there better methods than others? And what does the future look like? I'm glad you asked. Hey, if you liked what you saw this week, you can click up here to subscribe to our channel. Or if you want to see what we did last week, you can click the box to my right. Don't forget to like our video in the link down below. See ya!